Caccioli supported the Adriatic LNG project, the first concrete offshore LNG receiving and regasification terminal installed in the Adriatic Sea, 15 kilometres from Po River in Italy in a water depth of 28 metres. The terminal delivers energy to the Italian National Gas Pipeline System via the Adriatic coast, providing approximately 10% of the country's entire gas supply. The main components of the terminal are a concrete gravity base structure, GBS, two storage tanks made of six sections in all, 250,000 cubic metre capacity, the top side modules, 11 main modules, almost 50 items. Dimensions of the terminal are 200 metres by 100 and 50 metres in height. Fagioli was awarded for the following activities. Heavy transport and lifting engineering. Loading modules from barges, ships to Algeciras site. Transport of modules to temporary storage area or close to the installation area. Final module installation by means of specially made towers and strand jacks. And a skidding system and cranes. For more than three years, Fagioli has been involved in the project, efficiently cooperating with the client and the general contractor. The design of the system required full commitment in the project team, innovation, engineering and technological research, 3D module simulations, laboratory and site tests. The main challenge for Fagioli was the project execution. The terminal was assembled in a deep, dry dock and all the prefabricated modules had to be installed on top of the GBS by skidding them over a wide gap of more than 40 metres in the air and lifting them to a height of 30 metres. We executed heavy activities at the same time in a very congested site area when required on double shift or seven days a week. All the operations have been designed and performed at the highest level of safety and quality. The keystone of the project has been the innovative solution we provided to our client. Adriatic LNG is a real unique project. It is the first LNG offshore regasification terminal in the world designed and built with extended modularization. The project on site started at the end of 2006 with the load-in, transport and installation of the LNG tanks. From November 2006 until April 2007, tanks installation. The Fagioli team unloaded six tank sections weighing up to 1,600 tonnes each from the marine vessel moored at the new key site. Then, Fagioli performed the installation of 64 strand jacks and assembled structures onto the GBS roof in order to lift and fix the tanks inside the GBS.
installation of 11 major modules on top of the GBS. April and May 2007, arrival of the living quarter. July 2007, lifting of the living quarter. To install the modules on top of the GBS, the system selected was a combined skid and strand jack method that would move the modules from the key side and place them on top of the GBS. The elevator girders that lift the modules up to the GBS roof are positioned 16 metres above the bottom of the GBS. The girders lift each module 27 metres vertically to the roof of the GBS. The girders are 35 metres long. The towers had to be removed before the module was skidded onto the elevator girders. Once the modules were placed on the girders, the towers were moved back into position and attached to the girders. Each strand jack has a capacity of 600 ton. Each skid shoe has a weight capacity of approximately 600 ton. The skid shoes moved approximately 400 millimeters per stroke of the jack from the elevator girder onto the GBS. of August, unloading of the flare module, 27th and 30th of August, loading of the EIB module, September, lifting of the flare onto the GBS, September 2007, GTG module, 2,360 tonnes. September, October 2007, EIB module, 1,650 tonnes. December 2007, Flare Tower, 203 tonnes. December 2007, Pig Launcher, 460 tonnes. December 2007, East Breasting Module, 600 tons. ORV load in on January 2008. February 2008, ORV module, 4,500 tonnes. February 2008, maintenance building, 
150 tons. March 2008, BOG module 